so uh, all 14 kind of bravius lattices are available in this uh, only associated with the only seven crystal systems so with uh, monoclinic first this is simple and base centered and uh, this rhombohedral simple tetra simple and body centered hexa simple hexagonal and uh, cubic simple body and face centered cubic ortho this has four kinds of bravest lattices simple body face and hand centered so these are the 14 bravest lattices okay now we will see the relationships between the atomic radius and the lattice parameter in cubic systems so for simple cubic this is the simple cubic kind of uh, arrangement for atomic arrangements for simple cubic so this has a uh, a naught is the distance between two atomic centers this is the relation of a is equal to 2r and the example for the simple cubic is polonium only one example is here in case of body centered cubic this is 4r equal to root 3a this is the relation between the atomic radius and lattice parameter for bcc the an example for bcc is chromium tungsten etc for face centered cubic the relation between the atomic radius and lattice parameter is 4r equal to root 2a and example for this is like nickel aluminium and etc now we will see one more important formula for the percentage crystallinity in polymers so percentage crystallinity is uh, defined like for the crystal that crystalline polymer and the specimen for which we are uh, trying to determine the crystallinity and the amorphous so the formula percentage crystallinity is equal to density for the crystalline specimen density for the specimen and this is the amorphous density for the amorphous so this is the formula we use for uh, determining the percentage crystallinity in the polymers this is the fundamental formula for converting weight percentage to atomic percent and atomic percent to weight percent so if we are considering two element a and b and we are uh, changing this uh, we are converting from weight percent to atomic percent then we need this formula we want to calculate the atomic percent from weight percent and if we are changing this uh, atomic percent to weight percent then atomic percent is given and we are calculating this weight percent so weight percent of uh, like element a is equal to atomic percent of a into at at atomic weight of a divided by atom percent a into atomic weight of a plus b and this we can calculate the weight percent of a like this and at percent of a like this uh, so guys one more information i would like to share with all of you that we have launched one subscription based subscription based channel on telegram for metallurgy quiz So the link is given in this description of this video and uh, we have already posted 400 plus questions related to uh, metallurgical basic fundamental concepts. So you can go through from those questions and uh, you will uh, surely be benefited. Thank you. We will go further. Now we will see this power law work hardening. So in this case. This is the flow curve of many metals in the region of uniform plastic deformation can be expressed by simple power curve relation. Sigma is equal to k epsilon to the power n, where sigma is the true stress and epsilon is true strain, k is the strength coefficient and n is strain hardening coefficient. So in this case, we will see that in which region of true stress strain diagram this relation is valid. So if this is this sigma versus of silent diagram and uh, the normal curve would be like this 
so in this region if we will see first this region so this might be the elastic region and and the rest of this region we will define as the plastic region so here i would like to add also two to three more information like first we will see the proportionality limit then elastic limit and then yield strength yield stress which is related to the 0.02% of offset strain so from where the plastic deformation starts and up to the maximum load or to the corresponding stress this is the QTS so this power law relation is valid in this region from yield stress region to UTS this is the reason where sigma is equal to k epsilon to the power n is valid this is called the work hardening region also or strain hardening so here we can see that this is the uniform elongation okay now we will see the relationship between elastic modulus shear modulus and bulk modulus so e is the bulk modulus sorry this is the modulus of elasticity or young modulus and uh, k is the bulk modulus and g is the shear modulus or modulus of rigidity so the relationship between modulus of elasticity and uh, modulus of rigidity e is equal to 2g is within bracket 1 plus mu mu is the poisson's ratio and uh, e is equal to 3k 1 minus 2 mu this is the relationship between the modulus of elasticity and bulk modulus okay now we will see the uh, common Berger vector which we will use in uh, daily practice for uh, conceptual fundamentals like uh, cubic crystals like FCC BCC and SCP so in case of FCC this is the B is equal to A naught by 2 1 1 0 so this shows the direction and a naught is the latest parameter for FCC and uh, in case of BCC B is equal to a naught by 2 1 1 1 and uh, SCP B is equal to a naught by 3 1 1 bar 2 0 and uh, this dislocation reaction where the uh, which is uh, favorable like high energy cannot be go ahead so it will break into two Berger vector b1 breaks into b2 plus b3 will be feasible only when b1 square is greater than b2 square plus b3 square now we will see how the Berger vector of FCC we can show in the unit cell so if this is the unit cell for FCC so the most dense direction shows the Berger vector that is so this is the 100 direction so this is the half distance this will show the Berger vector for FCC in case of BCC the unit shell will be like this so here the Berger vector will be a naught by 2 1 1 1 so this is the most dense direction this will be this is the direction and the Berger vector will be this a naught by 2 1 1 1 ok and in case of SCP So we will just show the Berger vector. These are the three directions A1, A2, and A3. The Berger vector for FCC is A0 by 3, 1, 1, 2 bar 0. So we will see that this A1, A2, A3, and I. So 1. We will move 1 unit in A1, 1 
unit in a2 and 2 unit in negative 2 unit in a3 so this is a3 we will move 1 unit and 2 unit so it should be like this it will come in this direction so this is the budget vector in case of scp so these are the budget vector associated with the fcc bcc and scp thank you we will see further